Now, years ago when I first started recording, I used to use tape. We had these big mixing boards, and we would use this tape and put the tape on a tape machine. It was, you know, give you great warmth. Really warmth in the recording and a lot of color to the recording. It sounded really good. But it was very expensive. You know, you had to get these big studios. And the machine cost like about maybe $6,000 just for one machine. We might use two. And then we had two 24 track machines, be 48 tracks. And we had to set the two tapes up and sync them up. So it's very expensive back in the old days. Well, now we can mix in a box. And what this means is that we're mixing on a computer. You know, we've got our Pro Tool system or Logic or Digital Performer or Cubase or whatever, but you're mixing in this digital audio workstation. And the great thing about this, you have this price. It's very cheap. You can make a great recording with just a $1,000 laptop and a great system like Pro Tools with some basic plugins and make a really great recording. Also, performance. We can get a great performance out of what we're doing. We can have someone come in, sing vocals, uh, someone bring their drum machine, record it in. We don't need to have a drummer. Bring the drum machine in. It's working great. Workflow is better. And, of course, the price is excellent. And the outcome is very good. Now, a DAW is actually a digital audio workstation. It replaces many components of the old analog studio, like the big mixing board. Well, the mixing board is now in the computer. Also, we've got these plugins. Well, there's no more outboard gear. We have these boxes that were like reverb boxes, or we have these great compressors, like pool tech compressors, that we would use in the recording process. Well, no need for that anymore. It's all in our digital audio workstation, like in our Pro Tools environment. Now, we get complete recall ability. That means it's consistent. That means I can set a mix-up. I want the drums to come out here, the vocal to go up here, the bass line to go down here. Those mixes can happen over and over again and be exact with consistency each time I turn that little piece in the mix because there's a total recall within the digital audio workstation. It makes for amazingly great automation. So you have every part where you want it to be. It's a beautiful thing about using a DAW. Also, the input into the system is consistent. We know if we've got a great system going on and we've got this, let's say, analog digital conversion going on with the microphone, our input from the audio, which is analog from the microphone back into the computer, is consistent. It also gives a price performance. That means we're spending not that much money, but we're getting great performance. And we've got an ease of use as well. So using a DAW is really great. Now, some disadvantages are we have this lack of a tactile surface, meaning we don't have this mixing board anymore where we can use our left and right hand up and down. Sometimes we just have our mouse and pad and our uh, laptop, let's say. But a lot of companies over the years, including Pro Tools Digizine, has made these great mixing boards. Like uh, we had years ago, we had the Pro Control. Uh, we had the uh, Digi002, which is really great to use also. We have a Digi003 right now. So many companies are making these tactile services that interface with the computer system. So that way you can move a fader and it, you see the fader move also on your computer system. That's really great. Now, another problem with uh, DAWs is the problem of this lack of warmth. There are a lot of articles I read in Mix Magazine and many magazines about mixing. And they say, well, they use this or they go back here. They want to warm it back up. They have some of the analog digital conversion. That's A-D-A. -A. They want to convert it back and forth so that way they get a really nice warm sound. That's some problems you might have with mixing digital uh, compared to analog. And it depends really on what your end product's going to be and what you do to compensate for that. Now, I myself use a few uh, analog digital converters. I like to use an Apple G to get more warmth back into my Pro Tool system, which gives it a much better sound, and I feel better when I actually hear it back also as well. Now, you can mix in Pro Tools. The advantages far outweigh the disadvantages of mixing in Pro Tools. Let me tell you about that for sure. Because you can actually do everything you want to do and even more. And be very creative with different plugins in the environment called In a Box. Where you're mixing it right there in your computer system. So be aware of that. You have to be able to understand what you've got and how to use it. And understand how each one of the plugins work. Understand how to group your drums up. Group your background vocals up. How to pan. How to use all the plugins you have and ways you can use them to create this sort of sound. So it's important to understand not just the Pro Tools edit window, but also the mix window. Understand how to use everything. Understand everything. If you don't understand much about that, you can always get it from us at Sample Kings. You can go to our website or join our online school and get a lot of the basic lessons to understand how to use Pro Tools and the best way to use all the plugins. But it's important for you to understand that 
using it in the box far outweighs using the analog system. You can use both sometimes. You don't have an outboard gear plugged into your Pro Tools system, but it's important to understand how to use your Pro Tools system in the box.